Hey everyone, so I would like to share with you the progress and the completed work cart that I built. Uh, the impetus for this project was that now that I'm in the foundry, which is an amazing 20,000 square, 20, square foot workspace, I'm constantly trying to do something and running back to my tool storage area to grab a measuring tape or a scale or a pencil or something. And I just needed a place to store all my tools and move them around and then clean up everything. And so I decided to build this large wood work cart and practice a bunch of different woodworking skills and use heavy duty pine components and try a bunch of different tools and things like that. All right, let's jump into sort of the building process. So I didn't take a whole lot of pictures while I was building it, but I'll try to walk through how I put this thing together. Um, it's made out of your basic Home Depot four by fours, beams, and they were planed and made square to three inches by three inches. And I picked the parts that had the fewest knots and the straightest grade. And uh, once I had all the pieces and they were starting to dry out a bit, I went into making the joinery. So the two side pieces of the work cart are these large squares, rectangles made out of um, four of the beams and they're lap jointed together. So I carved the, I sawed out the lap joints and then put them all together. And then I started by routing out the slots for the shelves, which are three quarter inch wood with cork on top of it. And started uh, removing material for the mortises. When, uh, when all those were done, I moved on to the cross pieces, which we connect the two sides. And these have large tenons on each side of the three by three. And these were pretty difficult to hand work. You know, I'd, each side required several cuts, and then I chiseled and pared it down to fit just right. Um, then when that was done, and those were having grooves in for the shelves, I cut two relief cuts and um, these holes so that the sp splits wouldn't continue down the grain. And, the, and uh, this way I could wedge some walnut wedges in to spread out the, the dovetail uh, tenon joint. Um, and here you can see the, uh, the cart dry fit together, and you can see those gaps on either side of the tenons on the top and the bottom, and that's, that's where the wedges are gonna go. Um, and then it was a matter of you know, gluing everything together and hammering in those walnut wedges, which was a bear to cut on the um, chop saw using a weird jig. But when that was all dried, and I flush cut the wedges and sanded everything down and applied coats of the tongue oil. Uh, to bring out the wood grain and give it a protective finish. Um, then I went on to working on the handles. So the handles, I'm taking advantage of the sweet water jet cutter we have here. I got a piece of half inch steel plate and found a leaf drawing. And so the water jet cut cut off this precise little leaf as well as the half inches of the, um, of the material. And then I stuck it in a vise and heated it up with my acetylene torch and then bent it around. There's a great picture of the uh, nice red, you know, orange hot metal that I twisted. This was not very difficult, especially with a tool that I also water jet cut out to bend it precisely. And once those were done, in addition to the casters and some other hardware, I, I heated those up and then doused them in oil to darken the steel. And then put it all together. Here is the finished product. All the handles are attached, the casters are in, uh, a couple coats of tongue oil, and it, it is a nice, nice work cart. Here's some detail of the joinery. So you can see the lap joint side there and uh, on each side of the wood. And then there's a through tenon that comes through the wood and it's tapered on both sides. And then I can jam some of these walnut wedges between the wood. It spreads it out inside the tenon. So that thing is locked completely. You know, that's not going to come apart at all. Uh, here's the casters with, uh, they, you know, they were zinc plated to begin with. And now with having, having dissolved that off and heat treated it, it's nice and dark. Goes with the look of the thing. And some detail shots of the leaf. There's a leaf uh, motif, I guess, and uh, the water jet cut piece of metal. So we water jet cut that and drilled holes for the screws there um, into the water jet, and that's where we did the heat bending. Um, and that's a nice little handle there. So I wanted to make sure that the cart could hold large things on top, so I made sure the handles weren't mounted above the uh, top of the cart. I could put a large thing on, um, move it around. And another feature which is pretty nice is that because of the weight and the balance of it, um, I can really push down on the cart without it coming up. And, uh, you know, some carts might tip forward. This way I can kind of lean on it as I'm walking around. And uh, so it's real sturdy and you know, it looks pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, that's that's the cart. I'm pretty happy about it. I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Subscribe to see more project videos. And uh, never stop building.